I'm Dr. Susan Alexander for The Funky Professor and in this video I wanted to share with you my special mnemonic to help you remember the structures of the gluteal region. Before I do, what would you say if I told you that you have an ice lolly in your bottom? Or to be precise, that you have a popsicle in your butt? <laughs> do you think I'm mad? Well, this is how I remember the structures in the gluteal region. Let me explain. So the mnemonic is P-O-P-S-I-Q-L-S. -S. It's such a fun one to remember and it really does cover all the structures in the gluteal region. So let's start with P. P is for pudendal nerve and artery. O is for the nerve to obturator internus. Now I call these the fickle structures as they enter the gluteal region by coming out of the greater sciatic foramen but they only make a brief guest appearance. It's almost as though they leave the nice warmth of the pelvis, get to the gluteal region, have a look around and think, do you know what? We kind of like it back in the pelvis. And that's what they do. They dive back through the lesser sciatic foramen to enter the pelvis. So hence the fickle structures. Let's get back to the mnemonic. We got to the second P, which is for the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. This is a long nerve that goes on to provide sensation to the buttock region and also the skin on the back of the thigh. The S in the middle of popsicles is for the big one, the big daddy, which is the sciatic nerve. And it is the largest nerve in the body. I is for the inferior gluteal nerve and the artery, which go on to supply the gluteus maximus. Now I used to think the gluteus is such a big muscle that it really should be supplied by the superior gluteal nerve. But the superior gluteal nerve actually supplies the gluteus medius and minimus. And when you look at where it is on the body, it absolutely makes sense. So hence, the inferior gluteal nerve and artery supplies gluteus maximus. The Q is the nerve to quadratus femoris and it does exactly what it says. It supplies the quadratus femoris muscle. L is for lymph nodes which are generously sprinkled and distributed through the region. I included these actually so it would make my mnemonic work. And the final S is for the superior gluteal nerve and artery which is the only structure that actually emerges above the piriformis to supply as we previously mentioned gluteus medius and minimus. So let me summarise. Popsicles. P is for the pudendal nerve and vessels. O is for the nerve to obturator internus. P, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. S, sciatic nerve. I is for the inferior gluteal nerve and artery. Q, for the nerve to quadratus femoris. L is for lymph nodes. And S is for the superior gluteal nerve and artery. So next time anyone refers to your bottom, you can very confidently say that your butt is so sweet, you actually have a lolly in it. In fact, you have a popsicle in it and you wouldn't be wrong. I hope that's been helpful. I hope it pops into your head when you're in the middle of an exam thinking, oh, I can't remember it. Get in touch with me, let me know. And I'd love to share more mnemonics with you if you find it helpful.